Good morning. Good morning. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I give God the praise, the honor, and glory for blessing us to see this new wonderful day. This new wonderful day. December 1st. Yes, Lord. December 1st, 2020. The Lord has blessed us to see another one, y'all. Another month. Even though we went through, <laughs> we are here. December 2020. Praise the Lord. So welcome to all of my new visitors on my YouTube ministry channel. And I would like to welcome you and just thank you so much for letting the Holy Spirit quicken your spirit and guide you to this channel so you can receive his word. Yes, Lord, I thank him. And welcome back to my subscribers. Thank y'all. I love you. Thank you for subscribing, y'all. But everyone, if you would, click like, share, and subscribe so we can spread all of God's blessings. His good news to everyone who has an ear to hear and a heart to receive all over the nation, globally, y'all, all over America, just all over. Because we can reach many through the internet. And that's a blessing. I give God the glory, the praise, and honor for this. And I thank him. I just thank him for his goodness. It's always good, all the time. Even when we don't think it's a good time to thank God. <laughs> Even with our trials and tribulations that we go through, we still give God the glory, the honor, and praise. Yes, I thank him and I love him. So, y'all, I would like to pray first, give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. I just want to thank him for his goodness. Father, I thank you for this day, for it's wonderful, wonderfully made, Father. I thank you, Lord, for your son's death, burial, and resurrection. He came in flesh and took our sins upon himself. He died and he rose for us, y'all, for us, um, Lord. And I just thank him. I thank you for the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I thank you that the Holy Spirit quickens our spirit with whatever it is we need to know and direct us, you know, just guide us and lead us in the right direction. I thank you, Lord, for your love. It never fails. I thank you, Father, our Father. I pray, Father, that this word, it, I pray and I thank you that this word, I decree and declare that it will fall on good ground. Yes, Lord, good ground. And that you give your people an ear to hear and a heart to receive, Father. I thank you, Father, that you decrease me and increase you in me. Meet me in your word, Father. Anoint the word. Anoint it. Let every word that come out of my mouth, Father, be attached to your anointing, attached to it, Father. You speak through me, Father. If I leave something out, quicken my spirit, Holy Spirit, and speak through me. Interrupt me and say what you got to say through me. Thank you. I thank you for using me just to minister the word to your people, Father, to be a trumpet blower. I thank you that I'm one of your remnants. Father, I touch and agree with everybody in the spiritual realm that's praying and living in your will, your will being done. Father, I come into agreement with them because you said whatever, whatever, I, whatever I ask in your name, you will do it, Jesus. So that it is that so that the Father is glorified through you. Thank you. I thank you and I bless your holy name. For you are holy, you are Lord. And I just love you. I just love you, and I love you for loving me. <laughs> I give him the glory, the honor, and praise, and I rebuke and bind anything, Father, because he gave us a power of authority to speak the thing, and rebuke and bind anything. So anything in the spiritual realm, Father, divination, the Antichrist spirit, witches, warlock, Delphia Python, anything that's not of you, that, might try to come, that may come to steal this word, Father, or interrupt this word, we rebuke that in Jesus' name, by his precious blood. Because you gave us the power, authority to speak to things, Father. We re rebuke and bind things. And we send your judgment fire to burn any evil altar, any wickedness in the heavenly realms, in the highly places, Father. We rebuke and bind it in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. And we do that everything will go forth as your will. As you will it to be, Father. And that people receive and draw more people to you, Father. With us giving this word. I thank you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, y'all, today is December 1st. Today is December 1st. I thank the Lord <laughs> because He woke us up today. He breathed breath in our bodies so that we can see another day. Yes, December 1st, 2020. I thank Him, y'all. Thank you because a lot of people, you know, 
and I, I pray for the families that lost loved ones. A lot of people are, have passed away. You know, lives were taken. Unfortunately, you know. But they're not here to see December 1st, 2020. So I thank them. I just thank them for another day. Every day I wake up, I thank the Lord for another day. Because he is good. Good. All the time. <laughs> so y'all, my dream, the dream the Lord gave me, December 1st, 2020, is thus. In the dream, in this dream, some man was doing a roundhouse, <laughs> a roundhouse kick at me. And I told my son about it. I said, see, Stephen, he want to fight your mama. <laughs> because I'm telling him what thus says the Lord. And I woke up from the dream, y'all, at 12 a.m. I woke up from the dream at 12 a.m. So I, y'all know, I asked the Holy Spirit, and he quickened my spirit. I was like, Holy Spirit, what is this? I need you to give me some scriptures. What does this dream mean? I don't understand it. Because you know what we do. We try to put it together ourselves. And then the Holy Spirit quicken us. So you're still trying to do it on your own. Your own strength. Uh-uh. Don't do that. Just ask me. I'll reveal it to you. I'll reveal it to you through scripture. So I did. <laughs> I was like, oh, God forgive me. God forgive me. I was trying to figure it out myself. I said, Father, what is this? What is this dream, Holy Spirit? Quicken my spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave me these scriptures. And I thank him. Lord, I thank him. Because I didn't know what that dream meant. My mind was rumbling, rambling, just rambling, trying to think on my own, like what it meant. So he gave me Ephesians 6 chapter, 12 verse, NIV. For our struggle, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil, in the heavenly realms. Yeah, y'all, yeah, that's Ephesians 6 through 12. I'll read it again. Ephesians 6, chapter 12, verse NIV. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And he also quickened my spirit with this scripture, y'all. Isaiah 49 chapter 25th verse NIV But this is what the Lord says Yes Captives will be taken from warriors And thunder retrieved From the fierce I will contend with those who contend with you And your children I will save Praise the Lord y'all Praise the Lord. He said, your children, I will save. So, I dreamt, I had the dream. You know, it was about, like I said, it was about a, a man. I didn't even know who this man was. Round, doing round, doing roundhouse kicks at me. And so I told my son about it. I was like, he want to fight your mama. Because I'm telling him what thus says the Lord. And then I woke up. So that the Holy Spirit led me to that, y'all. Isaiah 49, 25, NIV. That was the second one he led me to. And um, But this is what the Lord says. Yes, captives will be taken from warriors and plunder retrieved from the fears. I will contend with those who contend with you. And your children, I will save. Yeah, he's just letting us know. See, look, y'all. Spiritual war is a state of conflict between you and and the host of darkness is a state of conflict between you and the host of darkness, which is Satan. That's spiritual warfare. Yeah. Spiritual war. Spiritual war. Spiritual war is a state of conflict between you and the host of darkness. So the enemy already knows what God has for you. What, what you are doing here on earth. You know, that you are trying to live for Christ. 
that you want to do whatever you want to do everything the Lord says do. You know, you living for Him. You going out ministering the word to people so people can get saved and, and and see Christ. So um, the enemy don't want that. That's why you um, I pray that Lord plants His thoughts in my mind so that His kingdom will be advanced on earth. I'm like Lord, Father, plant your thoughts in my mind so that your kingdom will be advanced on earth. And that's why y'all got to do the same. We advancing his kingdom, y'all, when we going out giving the word of God. When we giving his, his testimonies. When we giving his scripture. When we just having people draw to Christ and um, love on the Lord. You know? When we open our mouth and blow on our trumpet. Sharing the good news of God. The enemy doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. So he's trying to attack us. And if we're the stronger one, then he try to attack our children. You know, our, our family members that's not as strong as us. But he'll attack us, but we know how to pray. And when you don't, the Holy Spirit will quicken you and tell you how to pray. Like you do me. Some things, I don't know, I'll be trying to pray just maybe prayers I remember. And I'll be like, the Holy Spirit be like, go to my word. Go to my word. I already have it printed out. So you can know how to pray. Because remember, I come into agreement. With line upon line and precept upon precept, I come into agreement with that. That's what I come into agreement with, and I do. Yeah, Jesus said, and I do, and I will do what you ask. So the Father will be glorified in the Son. Yeah, He'll do that. He'll do that. Let me make sure I'm reading. It. I'm saying that scripture right. Let me go to my, my um, thing. Um, John 14, 13, NIV says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yeah. Praise God. So God just let us know. That this is spiritual warfare, y'all. Somebody trying to fight me in a dream. Somebody I don't even know. Because I'm telling him about the Lord. <laughs> because I'm telling him what thus says the Lord. And he doing roundhouse, roundhouse kicks at me. That's the enemy. Yeah, that's the enemy. That's Satan. Trying to fight me in my dream. But I woke up. The Lord woke me up. The Holy Spirit woke me up. And he quickened my spirit with what I need to pray for in the spiritual realm. In the heavenly realm, you know, to rebuke a mind, to send his judgment fire on him. The enemy wants to fight us spiritually for saving the lost and drawing people to Christ, y'all, with the word of God. The enemy wants to stop kingdom marriages. Satan knows the marriage will be for the Lord so the Lord can get the glory. Satan knows whatever you're doing that's in the will of God, whatever God wants you to do. It's for God to get the glory. You know, God blessing you with favor and opening up the storehouse of heaven and pouring out his blessings on you so he can get the favor. So you can go back and give a testimony. Because, man, to tell them nobody did this for God. You know, drawing others to Christ. He just blesses us like that, y'all. His grace and mercy is sufficient for all. His love and kindness. Even when we don't deserve it, he still... His mercy and His grace is good. He still blessed the just and, un and the unjust. He still does. So yeah. The saint know that. He know that. He know that the, um, whatever God gives you to do on, in the kingdom on earth. That it will um, on earth will be drawn other to Christ. Through the sharing of the gospel you know to save the lost. He know that these marriages that he's Blessing everybody to have this year before the year is out. All the way through, all the way through um, May next year, the barley harvest. Um, you know, the barley harvest. Re, uh, what is that, Ruth and Boaz? You'll, you'll learn about the barley harvest. Um, yeah, this is a season, y'all. This is a season. I thank him. <laughs> I'm excited. I thank him for his goodness. I thank him for everything that he's doing, blessing all of us. I be so excited and happy. For people that get blessed, that people get blessed, you know, just blessed, unexpected blessings, that people get married. 
I'd be rejoicing for them. For them. Yeah, I'd be excited and I'll be mad because my season ain't come yet. But this is my season and I'm receiving it. <laughs> I give God the glory, the praise, and the honor. And I'm receiving it and speaking life into that because God gave me the power of authority to speak life into everything. By the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, the Messiah. Yeah. He gave me the power of authority. I could just speak to it. I need to send, him, send his word. Like he said, like the um, the Capranium, the Capranium, um, the centurion, the centurion soldier. His servant was was ill. In the Bible, and um, he was like Jesus. I need you to come. You know, I need you to heal my servant. But he said, my my house. You not. I'm not worthy enough for you to even step into my house, y'all. I'm just. Saying the way I'm saying it. I'm not saying it verbatim exactly like the Bible, but y'all can read it. Um, but I'm not worthy, Lord, for you to step into my house. But I know I'm a man with authority. And whatever I tell my soldiers under me to do, they're gonna do. If I tell him to go here, he's going he's gonna go here. If I tell him to come here, he's gonna come here. Whatever I tell them to do, they're going to do. And you're a man of authority and of power. He tells Jesus, you're a man of authority and power. And all you got to do is send your word. So just send your word. And my servant will be, my servant will be healed. So y'all, he gave us the same, he gave us that power of authority when he died and rose. He gave us that power, authority to speak life into things, to move mountains, to just have faith as small as a mustard seed. You could do whatever you ask. He would do whatever you ask if you do it in his name. So his father can be glorified in the sun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, then the Holy Spirit led me to the warfare scriptures. So I have some warfare scriptures, y'all. The decree, the decree and declare them over your life. Decree and declare them over your life. Mm-hmm. Um... Decree and declare them over your life. Let me go to them, y'all. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Ephesians. Ephesians 16, 11. Ephesians chapter 6, 10th verse through 11th verse. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full arm of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So I'll be saying, yes, Lord. I'm going to be strong in you, Lord, and in your mighty power. I decree and I declare this word over my life, Father. I decree and I declare that I put on your full arm of God. I put on the full arm of God so that I can take, so that I can take my stand against the devil's schemes. I decree and I declare, Lord, this word is, is for me and my family and my generation down. I decree and declare this word is for me. Because this is your word, Lord, and don't return back void. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians, 3rd chapter, 3rd verse. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Yeah. I decree and I declare this word, Father. You are faithful, and you will strengthen and protect me from the evil one. I decree and declare that over me and my family and my generation. I thank you. That's your word, Lord. I remind you of it. It don't return back void. 
2 Corinthians 10 chapter 4 through 5 verses. The weapons we fight. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. I decree and declare that word is for me, Lord. That's your word. I remind you of it. And I decree and declare that word. It's for me and my family, my son, my generation. I thank you, Lord. Because I rebuke and bind generational curses. And it stops right here with me and don't go no further. I'm not receiving none of this generational curse stuff, Father. I am free from that. I decree and declare that. It is broke in the name of Jesus. It ends in the name of Jesus. It doesn't go any further down none of my family line. In the name of Jesus. And covered in his precious blood. Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. The Messiah. 1 Peter 5th chapter. 8 through 9 verse. It says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. Yeah, the same kind of suffering. And Lord, I decree and declare that word over my, over my life and my family, my generation down, Father. I'm resisting the devil and I'm standing firm in the faith. Because I know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. I decree and I declare that I'm going to be alert and sober minded. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I decree and I declare that I resist him. Stand firm in your faith, Father. I thank you. I receive your word, Papa. It don't return back void. That's your word. I just remind you of it, Papa. I remind you of it. James 4 chapter 7 verse. Submit yourselves to the to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's James 4 chapter 7 verse. Submit yourselves to God. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I decree and I declare that I submit myself to you, Lord, to you, God. I resist the devil and he will flee from me. I decree and I declare that over me. My son, my family, my generation down, Father. I thank you. I bless your holy name. And I cover that seal in the precious blood of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. Romans 8 chapter 37 through 39 verses. Romans 8 chapter 37 through 39 verses. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I decree that word for me, Father. It's your word that don't return back void. I decree it for me and my family, my son, my household, my generation. On down, Father. That you cover us in your blood. I decree this word, Father, by your power. I decree Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. John 10th chapter, 10 verse. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Father, I decree and declare your word over my life, my family life. My generation down, Father. Yeah. Generation down. Um, Colossians. First chapter. 13 through 14 verse. For he rescues us from the dominion of darkness. And brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves. In whom we have redemption. The forgiveness of sins. Y'all decree and declare that. I decree and declare it over my life. My family life. My son life. Generation down. And um, I got two more. John 16, 33. 16, chapter 33, verse. I, Jesus, have told you these things 
so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. I decree and declare that over my family, my, my son, my generation, my family, generation down. 1 Corinthians 10, chapter 13, verse, no temptation has, has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure. I decree and declare that over my life and my family. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your word that it don't return back void. I give him the praise, honor, and glory, y'all. His word don't return back void. So y'all just got to fight. We got to put up a good fight, y'all. We got to say his word. Remind him of it. Let him know you decree and declare it over your life. That you stand on his word. That you know his word. You believe in it. You have faith and you, you speak it into existence. With the power of life and death that's on your tongue. You can have power of life or power of death. Speak life into your life. Speak life into your family. Speak life into your dreams. Speak life into everything that you have birthed inside of you. Because God said we can say whatever we need to say. We can ask whatever we need to ask. And the Lord said he will do it. So the Father will be glorified in him, in the Son. Yeah, John 14 chapter, 13 verse, NIV. Y'all got to remember that. We don't fight against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, darkness, evilness, wickedness in the earth. Yeah, in the spiritual realm, in the heavenly realms. Yeah, for our struggle is not, Ephesians 6 chapter 12 verse, NIV, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this darkness, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Y'all gotta remember that. Stand on to that. Hold fast and tight to that. Don't never let go. Believe and receive. And act upon it. Don't just believe it and don't act upon it. You just believe it. Okay, Lord, that's for me. And then you still sit in your own way, still worrying and doubting. Still trying to work it out for you. Got something put down. You know, you got something that you got shoved in the back. Just in case it don't work the way God says. People saying God says it's going to work. I'm going to just do it this, this way. You know. Because I know this way. I've been doing it like this. So, I'm going to just go back to my way. No, don't do that. Give it up. Give it to God. God's time is the perfect time. It might not come when you want it. But it is right on time. It's perfect. Because he's going to get the glory. That's what he want to do. He's a jealous God. He wants the glory. He wants the praise and the honor and the glory. Because he's holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is to come. Revelation 4, 8. Praise God. NIV. Revelation 4, 8. NIV. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is to come. Okay. So y'all just stand fast. Hold tight. What thus says the Lord. He won't let you down. He won't let you down. I give him the glory, the honor, and praise. So y'all, Father, I just pray. I pray for your children. I pray for the nation. I pray for everyone, Father. I pray, Father, that we just humble ourselves and start decreeing and declaring and believe in your word that it won't return back void. Father, um, I decree and I <clears throat> that we decree and declare and rebuke and bind generational curses, Father. You know, sickness and disease, double-mindedness, wickedness that roots the earth. We rebuke and bind that, Father, in Jesus' name. Witchcraft, the Antichrist spirit, um, the spirit of Delphi, of Python. Um, Y'all read Acts 16, chapter 16 through 18 verses about that, about the spirit of um, divination. We rebuke that, Lord. We rebuke that. We, and we bind it and break the head off that servant, Father. Off that servant, Father. We rebuke him, um all types of conditions, Father, that affect our mood and our thinking, behavior, and all of that, Father. You know, loneliness and jealousy, greed, suicide, covetousness. We rebuke covetousness, Father. We want to be like other people that's preaching and, and saying a word, Father. People that might have nice cars and nice homes and, and might be, they might look like they're living better than us. And, you know, we can't be coveted. We can't, we can't, whatever God give you, enjoy what he give you and use it. Use it to, use it to glorify his kingdom. Use it on this earth, you know, 
to do the work that he has that he needs you to do here on earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. So you got to do that. In Jesus' name, we pray, Father, that people just start believing and walking and doing your will. Let your will be done, Father. We pray for all the sick, shut in, incarcerated. We pray, we pray for all, all over, for our authority, for the nations, Father. For governmental um, authority, Father. We pray for the churches that they be united as one, Father. And on the same on the same um, path, drawing people to you, Father, so you can get the glory. Not trying to outdo each other. Because that's not your will, Father. We thank you, Father. We um, rebuke all of that stuff in the name of Jesus. And we bind it on earth because we know you are binded in heaven. Father, we just lose your love. Um, we decree and I declare. We lose your um, just destiny connect relationships, Father. That will catapult us into the next step of our destined future that you have for us. We lose your marriages, Father. That you have these kingdom divine marriages from you, Father. We lose healing and health. And we lose that we walk in, in the um, fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, um, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, um, faith, temperance, and meekness, Father. We lose that. We lose that, Father. We lose praise and worship, Father. Praise and worship to you, Father. We lose compassion, Father, for people and, and um, passion for you. Um, Father, we lose um, we lose just love, Father. People just seeking you wholeheartedly. Not being lukewarm and straddling a fence, Father. We lose your will to be done in our lives, Father. All the days of our lives. And we just touch and agree in the spiritual realm right now. In the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, Father, through this internet, we touch and agree, Father. Because one, one can cast a thousand to ten thousand, Father, put ten thousand in flight, Father. So we touch and agree, Father, and we believe it and receive it, Father. And we decree and declare everything that you have for us, everything that you want us to do, Father, that it will be done. And it will be lined up in your word and your will. And we will receive the blessings from you, Father. Your yes, your yea and amen. Your yes and amen. Yes, Father, yes. We thank you. We receive it. We receive it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you are worthy to be praised. Thank you for you are worthy to be praised. If y'all don't know what to pray for, pray in your prayer language. Your prayer language. Just start praying in tongues. Just start praying in tongues. In your prayer language. And God, God know what you're saying. Because that's a language between you and Him. That's a language between you and Him. The enemy don't know. He can't hear what you're saying. He don't know what you're saying when you're praying in your prayer language. So if you don't know what to pray for, pray in your prayer language. If you don't know what to pray for, get your Bible and start um, on your internet, you know, your phone and get on the internet and look for scriptures. And start praying them scriptures back to God, reminding them of his word. You know, it don't return back void. He promised he'll do what he said he'll do. So I love y'all. Um, I love y'all so much. And I just keep y'all covered in my prayers. I keep y'all covered in my prayers. I had a prayer of salvation, y'all, for the new people who want to save, get saved and save their life and get their life to Christ today. I'm going to say a scripture. I'm going to say the um, prayer of salvation. And you can repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died and you rose from the dead, Lord. I turn from my sins and my wicked ways. I invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. That's right. So, praise the Lord. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. You that gave your life to Christ, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. So I have right here for y'all Romans 10 chapter, 9 verse, NIV. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's Romans 10 chapter, 9 verse, NIV. Romans 10 chapter, 13 verse, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's Romans 
10th chapter, 13th verse. Acts, 2nd chapter, 38 through 39 verses. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus the Christ, of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Verse 39, the promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. So y'all read, um, read right here, 1 John 4 chapter 1 through 6 verse ESV. Test the spirit. Okay? Y'all test the spirits. If the person that's coming to you, talking to you about the Lord, giving you scriptures and stuff, and they don't say Jesus, if you ask them, so did Jesus, did Jesus come in flesh? Like, and they tell you no. That's not true, that's false. Jesus came in flesh. He came in flesh. He came as a man. He came in flesh so that he can take our sins upon himself and die and rise for us so that we can have salvation through him to the Father. We can go through him to the Father. He died and rose for us and he came in flesh. So y'all test the spirits. Read 1 John, John 4 chapter 1 through 6 verse ESV. Okay? And you also read about the Antichrist spirit, the, the um, divination, spirit of divination, Antichrist, you know, Delphi Python and spirits. That's the spirits. It's Lucifer, Satan spirits, them old demonic spirits. Acts 16 chapter, 16 through 18 verses. Read about that too, y'all. So, I'm going to put my Gmail link up. Put my, let me see. I'll put my Gmail link up. The camera, I don't know. I rebuke Satan in Jesus' name, y'all. It looked like he was trying to stop my video just now. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But praise the Lord. I give God the praise, honor, and glory. I'm going to put my Gmail link up. And um, if you need prayer, you can contact my Gmail link. Contact me and my Gmail link. And I will pray for you. I will pray. I will. Go to the Lord and pray and see what he need me to tell you if he need me to tell you something. If he don't, I can't tell you nothing. You know? But I give him the praise, honor, and glory. Praise, honor, and glory for his goodness all the time and all the time. I thank him and I love him. So, y'all, please click like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube ministry channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Share it with many, many, many so they can receive this word. So they can receive this word, y'all. We're going to spread it out across the nation, globally, all over, Father. The United States of America, just everywhere, through this internet. I thank God for the internet. <laughs> yes, we can reach many, 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 many for Christ. So Christ can get the glory. So y'all, click like, share, and subscribe. I love you. Keep me in prayer. I'll keep you in prayer as well. Many blessings to you and your family. Y'all enjoy December 1st. December 1st. It's cold outside, but enjoy, enjoy. Many blessings to y'all.